won it a while ago, but I haven't played it yet. Uh, <laughs> but basically, it is a point and click adventure game type. Oh, the game is louder than me. Hang on. better. It was rather loud. Background music always seems to be an issue. Anywho. Contrast. Self-voicing. What do you think? Should we should we uh, do the voices ourselves or do the self-voicing? Self voicing is like. Um... Self self voicing sample. Oh. line right here. The receptionist hands you a pen and a clipboard. Mm, what if I don't sign? What if I refuse to sign this? We can always make room for you downstairs if you'd rather. Now hurry up dear, we don't have all eternity. Purgatory is spelled wrong. Uh, purgatory is spelled wrong here. No, it's not. You see, there's two R's. There should only be one. Tell you what, dear. <laughs> Your game is off center. Okay, hang on. Oh, yeah. Why is it? Why is it huge? Oh, it must have changed when I uh, changed it to full screen. The size in, in the stream. Uh, shit. I had it lined up well earlier, but you know, it was being. I'm moving me around. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Yes, thank you. You're very helpful. <laughs> Alright. You go and get a degree in demon resource management. Then you can come back and tell me how to do my job. <laughs> I like her. Sheesh, never mind. Might as well see. Sign. <laughs> she, her. I wonder if I should have, uh, I should have signed my full name or not. I don't know. Novella. Wonderful. Let's get you filed away with the others. The receptionist takes her documents and opens a filing cabinet. Let's see, your number eight? Oh dear, that's over capacity. What's wrong? 
Just a clerical error, nothing for you to worry your little head about. Why don't you head into the portal? I've got to take this down to the man downstairs. Wait, wait, I have so many questions. Alright, dear, I'll make time for one, but then I really have to go. Okay. We only have one question. We obviously know we're in purgatory, and she's the receptionist, so I think it'd be best to ask, who am I? Well, that's simple. Or, <laughs> I did the wrong, I did the wrong voice. Your novella. No, I mean, where did I come from? What did I do for a living? Stuff like that. You already used up your one question, dear. But you didn't tell me anything. You should have thought of that before asking. Darn. Don't worry too much about- Don't- Okay. Don't worry much- Don't- <laughs> I'm sorry. I am having trouble reading today. Don't worry about it too much. It'll all come back eventually. Take care now. Arisen starts walking away. <laughs> I like her turtle design. It's cool. Uh, is there anything else we can click on? Yes, a really old computer. Mouse, picture frame, water. It's important to stay hydrated. Broken sign. Jeez, there's cracks in the wall. This pot and plant is obviously dead. <laughs> She's taking so long to walk off screen. Paper or something. I wonder if we can click on her again. She seems. Busy. <laughs> Filing cabinet, receptionist chair, desk. Mm, well, I guess we just go through the portal. You take a deep breath and step into the portal. I like the art style. It's like, uh, reminds me of MS Paint. Welcome to Purgatory. What a warm welcome. On this ball, Lucifer was here. I wonder if this is supposed to be cat hair. A little scribbles on the wall. That's like scratches, but like this kind of looks like a hair. Hell, commons. Looks like something's taken a bite out of this sign. Let's go to hell! Someone counted to 21 here. It's a draw. Oh, uh, it was Bell, not Hell. <laughs> you should probably leave that alone for now. But I like the tinging noise, come on. No fun. Someone should fix the ceiling. Yeah, that seems like an OSHA violation. Oh, hello. Hey, I can have voice it. He kind of reminds me of the the hyena guy from um, uh, Gretzko. Is that how you say? The Netflix with the Netflix show with the, uh, with the little very angry red panda. You're new. Yep. I'm Novella. What's your name? My name's. not have faith in myself. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, Kyung Soon. Uh, that's a cat. Sure is. Ah, maybe I should have said it's everything.
I'm very entertained. Easily entertained. Electrical outlet. A lamp. Lightning. Can I turn it on? What's your emergency? Uh, hello? I'm stuck in purgatory. Sorry, you're stuck where? Purgatory. With two R's? Are you calling to report an emergency? Well, no, I guess not. They hang up. Uh, I wonder what other numbers we can file. Uh, I'll keep that in mind for later. I can find a number anywhere. If I dial it. This door is locked. I wonder where the key is. <laughs> Purgatory s poetry slam. Someone dropped a poem here. There are no toilets in Purgatory. By Sean the Snake. There are no toilets in Purgatory. I've checked everywhere. I'm surgatory. Not a urinal in sight, no surgatory. It also turns out nothing really rhymes with purgatory. <laughs> Beautiful. A loose tack. That's just tacky. This chair has seen better days. Oh, there's a mouse! Aw, he's cute. Or she. Hello, you must be new. Allow me to introduce myself. My name's Oliver. I'm a librarian here. Hey, I'm Novella. Purgatory has a librarian? Well, not officially, but this library was in such a state of disarray when I showed up, I just had to do something about it. Uh, what you see before you is the product of many hours of sh is shelving and dusting. Very clean. Oh, thank you very much. Anyway, feel free to browse around. Just let me know if there's something you'd like to check out. Will do. I'll grab a book from the shelves. It's just the word meow over and over. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention. Our collection is a bit, um, specialized. I see. Maybe you should try a different book book is exactly the same as the other one. <laughs> you read another one of the books. Nope. Didn't mean to do that. Are they all like this? Uh, interesting. Magnifying glass. Pencil. Oh, that's interesting. It's Michelangelo's David. Something looks a bit off. That's a big library to be full of nothing but meow, 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 meow. Unlock the door. Okay. I think they mean the one. Uh, not this one, but the. Um, the one here that's locked. Hmm. Hey, do you know how to unlock that door? Yep. How? You use 
the key. What key? The one that I have. Oh, can I have it? No. Why not? I ate it? <laughs> you ate the key, okay. Interesting. You act like you actually ate it. Yeah. Uh, why? I was hungry. Huh, okay. Interesting. Wait, is this just the back the way we came? Yeah, it's the same way. Hmm. like this? Uh, well, yes, I'm afraid so. Oh, shit, I accidentally skipped one. Uh, at least as far as I know. I haven't cataloged the entire collection yet, so there could be some hidden gems in there. Seems unlikely. It feels like this place was designed to be as boring as possible. Well, maybe so. Regardless, it doesn't hurt to be thorough. Take a look, I hit five th or 1,500 entries today. Oliver shows you the catalog. By my estimate, it's about 2% of the books in the library. Still a lot to be work- uh, still a lot of work to be done. Oh, wow. If you don't mind me asking, what are you looking for exactly? Well, you see, I like to imagine there's a pattern. Some sort of rhyme or reason, a scheme that explains what all this nonsense means. After all, even a code of one word is a code that can be broken. A language just begging to be understood. I hope you figure it out. Oh, thank you, thank you. I hope I do so- I, I hope so too. Anyway, do you find anything you'd like to check out? Oh, can we flirt with them? Hmm. The only thing I'm checking out is you. Uh, sorry? Never mind. Sorry. Ah, it's okay. But do let me know if there's something... If you'd like to check something out. That is, if you'd like to check a book out. Right. Strange, is it locked? Maybe Kyung Soon is ho is ha yeah, holding the key. Hmm, okay. I'll admit, I didn't actually expect you to. Well, never mind that. Let me see. Where did I put my stamp? Uh okay, forget the stamp. I'll just write down the due date. Which is well, we don't really have dates down here, do we? Uh, just try to bring it back eventually, okay? <laughs> okay. Oliver writes, due date eternity on a slip of paper and tucks it into the book. Sorry about all that. Enjoy your book. Okay, so we got a book. I don't know what to do with a book that just says meow, but okay. Did you poop out the key yet? Is that a book? Yep. Can I have some? Sure. Uh, if you give me... the key. Hi, Benboo! Uh, I didn't... You. Uh, I hope I didn't wait too long to reply. Uh, this is Purgatory. It's a point and click adventure about being stuck in Purgatory, but everything is cat puns. Uh, I've heard it's got like a really sweet story eventually, but uh, I'm not really sure what that is yet. Uh, we've got uh, Kyung Soon here, who um, I guess she really just likes. To eat, like, 
Non-edible objects. I think she's got pica. What? No. Oh. Okay, I was just asking. Okay, here. You can have it. Here you go. Thanks. God. <laughs> Starts tearing at the pages with her teeth. Is that good? Eh. It's better than nothing. That's fair. Albert never lets me have books, you know? Even though he has like a million. Pretty rude, huh? Maybe he's booked. Get it? Yes. Why do hyenas were supposed to laugh? I thought jokes were supposed to be funny. Oh. <laughs> supposed to get the key if she ate it already. Most interesting thing I've done in a while. something to do with this phone. I tried calling 911 earlier. I didn't really do much. Hmm. Oliver looks concerned. Hello again. I'm sorry to pry, but where's the book you checked out? I let... Oh, uh, Kang Soon wanted to eat it, so I gave it to her. What? Oliver Dash is outside. Kang Soon? Hi. What are you chewing on, if I may ask? Nothing. You're clearly chewing on something. Kang Soon swallows. I am not. Urgh. Would you mind opening your jacket? No. No, you wouldn't mind, or... No. Yungsu, I can clearly see the outline of the book in your jacket. Maybe I'm just happy to see you. Listen, you can't keep defacing books like this. Destroying library property meant for everyone to use. It's just selfish. You know what about- Okay, you would know about being selfish. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Just saying. At least I don't value books over actual breathing people. That's a low blow, Kyung Soon. Yeah, you would know about low blows. Ugh! Fella, do something. Talk to her. Uh, I really like the cute mouse, but also if we just defend Kim Soon, maybe she'll give us the key. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go with Oliver. Maybe you should just give the book back, Kim Soon? But you're the one who gave it to me. Novella? Did you really? Yeah, I told you I gave it to her. Uh, yes. Okay, I know you only checked it out to humor me. Sorry, I didn't think you'd mind. It's fine. In any case, Kunsun. Book. Fine then. 
Mingsoon pulls out the soggy torn book from his winter jacket. A small key clatters to the ground. Oh! Wait, what's this? The key to the door. Why didn't you give this to me before? Mm. I have to run this book back for the- Okay. I have to run this book by the preservation case of the cabinet ASAP. You better not pull something like this again, Kyungsoon. Whatever. Oliver runs off. You decide to keep the key. So, where did this cap come from? Is it yours? I don't know. It's always been here. Just standing still? It walks around sometimes. Huh. Does it have a name? Cat. Seems legit. Good game. Or, <laughs> good name. What's up? Jung Soon Purgatory. What? Nothing. I. What? What are your hobbies? Oh, you know. Sitting. Breathing. What about in real life? Before you died? Video games, I guess. Cool! What kind? The kind where you mind your own business. Oh, um... I love those games. Me too. We have a key now. Don't lock the door. I need to hold on to this key. Hey, something's in here. Cool, a snow globe. Cool snow globe with a cat in it. leaking a little. Maybe getting out of here is a pipe dream. Oh my. Let's, let's go right. Pencil. The lid is broken. Oh, darn. Scribble. Eleven tallies. Hmm. I wonder if the tallies are gonna mean something if I should be writing down them. Um, might as well. Uh, is this paper? <laughs> to the rescue. Okay, so the first one we found was 21. Then 11. It might not mean anything, but, you know. Afterlife's not all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> Very funny. Oh god, is that a spider web? Do spiders go to purgatory? Lock has no hands. <laughs> Trash can. Water cooler. It looks like it's full of orange soda. Interesting. I need some soda. I like orange soda. November. According to his calendar, it's November the 4th. Some notes about supply deficiencies or something. A rope. Cool, a snow globe. Another snow globe. A pair of cool 
little snow globes. Soap. Hand fluid. Some neatly stacked towels. Wipes. Blankets. It's a double A battery. This will come in handy. Some sort of electrical box. You're no out of expert, but that doesn't look safe. Bucket. Broom. It's milk! You don't even have to check. Okay, why is there milk on the floor? It's, uh, actually you have no clue what this is. Okay, interesting. Sink. Paper towels. An exposed pipe. Did you make that joke already? Yes, I did. Stinky bag of fertilizer. Gross. Oh, that looks incredibly rickety and dangerous. Some sort of rock tower thing? It's a catwalk. Also looks very unsafe. Can we go over there? Looks like you need to come from the other side to lower the strawbridge, huh? Change it off, cat. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea about music, so I, I can't actually play anything. <laughs> That's <laughs> amusing. Oh, aren't we just here? wearing really socks. Oh, what's this? It says, watch your paws. More cave stuff? Ah, yes, cave stuff. Very technical language. Someone pulled up one of the planks. Why would anyone do that? This fence is not very sturdy. Oh god, that, that's, that's a long way down. No sign of a bottom. Hmm. That's scary. <laughs> Who designed this path? Cave stuff. Hmm. Another dead potted plant. Pot. Mysterious tiny cube. Pencil. A spade. Looks like purgatory has garden supply in spades. A mallet. A sad looking flower. Some bricks. Rain boots. Does it rain in purgatory? I don't even know what that liquid is. <laughs> that I, I guess it got sidetracked. That looks kind of creepy. Yeah! Mysterious liquids. I mean, this game has no color, so we can't tell if it's white or not. Oh, there's a little, uh, garden. Is that catnip? Some compost. Someone's drawn a nice mural on the walls. Wires. What? Why are you even looking at these? Some sort of advanced watering and lighting system. Despite being dead, the tree is bearing some sort of black fruit. Can I take it? Can I take some? Hmm. A dead bush. No 
need to beat around it. Sapling. The river is full of milk? <laughs> That's disgusting. as she lived unremarkably. He was proud father of 16 cats. They were good, they were a good parent, but a bad tightrope walker, oh my. Aw, someone left flowers. As he died like as he lived, the fighting crocodiles. Good riddance. This one just says BRB. Lol, that's funny. Dead bush, bricks, the large way. Looks like someone was playing horseshoe. That's fun. Dead bush. It says, please stay off the grass. Purgatory parks and reclawation. Re that's, that's a bit forced. Okay, that one's a bit of a stretch. Yeah, that's what I said. Bench. It's milk. A nice scenic path. Leaf. Why would anyone leaf this lying around? Vent secured by several screws. If you had a screwdriver, you could probably open it. Find a, is it a, why would you frame a picture of a chair? Yeah, that's a good question. So I need to find a screwdriver, an elevator. Guess we're already on that floor. Oh my fucking god, is this? Fly me to the moon, but meows. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> That's beautiful. Um, anyway. Some sort of cactus. Looks like it's locked from the inside. Doorbell? Yeah. A sleeping looking moth opens the door. Ah! Moth! It's adorable! Uh, can I help you? Oh, uh, hi! Is this your house? Sorry, I don't want any cookies. I'm just gonna watch me, right? Um, what cookies? Mm, cookies. You wave your hand in front of her eyes. She doesn't respond. <laughs> cool. Alright, have a nice day. She closed the door. <laughs> she sounds high. I love her. Is that a moth gal? Yes! I she's... Lovely. And very sleepy. Uh, doesn't look like we can do anything else up here. Uh, this way? Oh! There's a snake! Yo! We got fresh meat! Uh, hi. My name's Novella. Hi, Novella. I'm Sean. This is Elijah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, that's Sean the snake that wrote the, that wrote the uh, poem we found upstairs. What's up, man? Uh, not much. I think I might be dead. Ah, uh, my condolences, my condolences. Uh, not sure if anyone's told you this yet, dude, but we're all dead. I think she knows that, Sean. Well, excuse me, not everyone's a smarty pants like you. Hey now, my pants are 
of totally average intelligence. So, Novella, tell me. What's a cutie like you doing up in purgatory like this? Huh? You know, like... What got you sent down here? Everyone's got a story. For example, Elijah's here's... He's <laughs> here for being too much of a smarty pants. Hey! Oh, um... I don't remember much of my past life. But knowing me, it was probably something like... Partying too much, annoying people to death, being lazy, or shoplifting. Mild sin is. Um, let's do hmm, annoying people to death. <laughs> annoying people to death. Oh, Sean does that too. You're already dead. How could I annoy you to death? You annoy me too from enduring death. <laughs> Maybe if you keep going, you'll annoy me back to life. You know what, Sean? Why are you- or oh, what about you, Sean? Why are you here? Oh, me? Too much sex. Sean. I can't help it, dude. I'm a freaking stud magnet. It would- <laughs> It would have been a crime for me to let all that booty go to waste. Sean. So I figured God sent me down here to repent. Amongst a bunch of prudes. What a cruel, cruel fate. Come on, man, that's- don't scare off the new person. <clears throat> anyway... Tell me- tell you what, Novella, you're gonna love it here. We have a hell of a time. Twiddling your thumbs, watching paint dry. Dang, is that boring? You get used to it after a while. We all got our own ways of passing the time. Me, I write poems. Oh no, not wrong, wrong voice. Me, I write poems. Uma, she gardens. I'm sure you'll find your thing too. I guess so. Welcome to Purgatory. Wait, no, <laughs> I'm doing the wrong voice again. <laughs> Welcome to pur uh, Purgatory. Thanks. Welcome to Purgatory, anyway, for what it's worth. Yeah, dude, welcome to Purgatory. Thanks. That's a lot of paper. The desk covered in papers. Oh, Don Cho, what now? Liz Elijah scribbles on a notepad. So, oh, you know, writing words. Writing rights, writing wrongs, and writing wor wrong words. <laughs> right. <laughs> how's the poetry? Uh, how's the poetry going? Same as usual. Same as usual, I suppose. A life that tosses another crumpled paper on the pile. Did you write in real life? Why is there so much paper on the floor? Can I hear something? Let's see if you can hear us. Hmm, let me think. How about this? When I'm feeling a Don forest, sometimes I will preach to the chorus. Don't use big words or you'll sound like a nerd. But time and again, they ignore us. Ha, <laughs> I get it. What's the word on the sign mean? A Don forest? No clue. My working theory is it's a type of bug. What do you think? Something that smells really bad. Something that's yellowish white. Part of a tooth. Someone who's stuck up. Could be. Truly, one of the greatest mysteries of purgatory. My theory is that Satan was having a little laugh and decided to frame a word that only Elijah doesn't know. You're tripping, man. There's plenty of words I don't know. Now, Oliver's another story. Have you heard one of his lectures? Yeah, once. I fell asleep at variable. 
That's not even a hard word. Well, no need to rub it in. Grumpy face. Broken lamp. Yeah, I busted that lamp a couple weeks ago. Turns out there's a good reason why indoor baseball is not a good idea. Okay. Oh, did something happen to her? Nah, I just haven't seen her in a while. What if she suffered some sort of tragic cat-related accident? You know, some sort of... Oh, oh. You mean some sort of catastrophe? Ugh. Walked right into that one. Yeah, I know. Do you have fun around here? So, what do you do for fun around here? Man, you tell me. Purgatory is boring as hell, to be honest. That's fair. How about I'm ba back on Earth? Oh, I used to be really into music. Worked for a record store and everything. What kind of music? Uh, you know. Funk rock, alt rock, hardcore, metal. That's. Shoegaze, post rock. It's a lot of. Drum and bass. Uh, garage. Oh, UK garage. Oh. Uh, side trance. Prog trance. 80s pop. You know, stuff like that. That's a lot of music. Yeah, I'm not picky. Mm. <laughs> I, I, I love the mod I mean, the emoticons. They're cute. My partner liked classical, so they were trying to start. So, so they were starting to get me into that too. Very, very gradually. But personally, I'm more into music that was written last century. <laughs> yeah, I get you. Can you tell me anything you can tell me about this place? You mean Purgatory? I think it's pretty self-explanatory, my dude. Something specific you want to know? How do you get out? Any places to check out? Uh, how do you get out? Uh, I guess, how do you get out of here? Yeah, gets me, dude. Never seen anybody leave before. Oh. You should ask Tori if you run into You should ask Tori if you run into her. She's always working on a new escape plan. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, I should check out. Mm. New Meow Keyboard is pretty cool, I guess. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> the park's a nice place to hang out, too. It's pretty cozy once you get over the fact that the river's made of milk. Any people I should meet? Oh! Have you met Natalie yet? I don't think so. Oh man. You like puns, right? Obviously. Then you two are gonna get along great. I'm open to the possibility. Freaking good snakey boy! Thanks! Oh no. We get to know each other a little better. <laughs> Massive winky face. Uh, no, no thanks. <laughs> no, you wanna. <laughs> uh, listen, the thing is, I'm gay. Oh, my bad. It's okay. Discover the cat. I'm the uh, yeah. advertisement for an exhibit called Discover the Cat. Cat with a pearl earring. Someone dug up the floor tile here. Your floor. Oh god, spiders. Lamps. Lamps. Uh, 
bench. Um. Oh, the Kev Museum. Cool, cool, cool. According to the sign, the Museum is open every day except Muse Day. The door is locked with a padlock. Tell her that um, the snake guy was wondering about her, but I should have sleep out today. <sighs> supposed to do. Um, Oliver. Oh, hi, Novella. Hey, Oliver. I'm really sorry about earlier with the book. I should have realized that... No, oh, no, it's alright. I overreacted. It's just one book after all. As much as it rubs me the wrong way to see a book treated like that, I can't fault you for what you did. Still, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. That's alright. If anything, Kyung Soon's the one at fault here. <laughs> Maybe. She seemed a bit. She, she seemed to touch on some uh, touchy subjects during the argument. Oh, it's nothing serious. Kyung Soon just knows that mentioning my earthly regrets is an easy way to push my buttons. The way she talks, you'd think I murdered someone. Did you? What? No, of course not. If you did, I won't judge. <laughs> Just saying. It's very kind of you, but this, but the point is mute because I didn't. Well, if you didn't murder anyone, then what are your earthly regrets? Um, maybe we can discuss this at a later time. Ah, okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. It's fine. Tiny spheres are lamps. Orb, are they? Yeah, they are. We could unjam. No one would mind if you took this ladder, right? Okay, so I have a ladder now. So we got two. Snow globes, battery, and a ladder. Can you find a screwdriver and open the door to meow something? Oliver looks up at you as you walk past. Novelle? Oh, hey, Oliver. What's up? Oh, not much. I was just wondering, you know. You know what? He just was at you. Why are you carrying a ladder? Oh, just thought it might come in handy. Sorry. Ah, let me see. You want me to put it back? No, no, I suppose you can have it if you want. Alright, thanks. Oh, I wonder if we can use the ladder on the bottomless hole. Oh, 
excuse me. Good morning. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Oh no, Bella, what's your name? It's Numa. Um, it's cool that Purgatory has a garden. Uh, yeah, I guess. smell like fish. Gross. That's disgusting. Okay. Hey, watch your step! You freeze your foot in the air. You almost stepped on a tulip. You know how hard it is to grow those here? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell. What I mean is please watch your step, if you don't mind. Um, okay. I'll try not to just step on anything. Just, uh, stay on the path from now on. Okay. Thanks. Maybe you should give her some space for now. Um, we've already been this way. Um... Where was... There it is. Nice. Use the screwdriver to loosen the cover. Stick. I wouldn't really stick this in the bin. Oh, God. No leaves. You can't believe you're not out of funds yet. Oh, my. Lots of tally marks. The drawing of a familiar looking hyena. It says Numa's Diary. curious what you probably should. Those thorns off. 
some roses, maybe it'll, they'll, it'll save someone from a prick someday. I wish Kyung Soon was here. She would probably think the death fairies are ugly, though. They are pretty ugly. But everything's ugly in comparison to Hyung Soon. Aw, that's cute. Novella? You stop uh, short as you run into the main line of events. What are you doing here? Exploring? I was just exploring. Just exploring. In someone else's room? Sorry, I didn't know. I can't believe this. You'd think screwing shut a door would be would be enough to keep people out. Wait, you didn't read my notebook, did you? Uh, I feel bad for reading out. Uh, but I don't want to lie. Maybe. What? I'm sorry, I was just curious. I wasn't embarrassing you or anything. That journal is pi private, asshole. It was just a peek, I promise. What the hell is wrong with you going through someone, uh, uh, yeah, someone's belongings like that? Oh god, you didn't see anything about, about Numa closes her eyes. Deep breaths, Numa. Sorry, Numa, I didn't even think about what I was doing. It was wrong with me and I won't do it again. Fine, I guess. I'm sorry for asking, but... Counting the days you've been here? Yeah, I guess. How come? I don't know. Just to keep track. Otherwise, it just um, time just bends together, and I hate it. I see. Is that a drawing of Kim Soon? No. I mean, uh, maybe. It's none of your business. Sorry, sorry. It's just I didn't think you two would be friends. I guess. Well, we're not. Girlfriends then? No. I mean. Not that there would be anything wrong with that. I mean, Numa covers her face. Ah! Oh, I get it. She has an identical twin! What? No, I have a crush on her! <laughs> oh, that makes way more sense. <laughs> it's just, I can never work up the courage to talk to her even though I have been stuck here for years. And I've never told anyone about it because I'm afraid she'll find out. I mean, it's not like I can give her flowers, because they all smell horrible. Ah, I just don't know what to do. Numa puts her head in her hands. Why am I telling this to you of all people? It's okay, it's okay. I don't know how that feels. Uh, maybe I could talk to, you, to her for you and- Don't you dare! I mean- Numa takes another deep breath. I mean, please don't do that. Jeez, okay. Sorry, it's just- if I'm going to tell her, I have to do it myself. I see. Why can't you soon? What do you mean? She's all uh, so tall and mysterious and smart and pretty and fluffy. Huh. Can you please back up so, uh, so we can get out of this event? Oh, right. Sorry, sorry. <sighs> do a back up for you to crawl out of the vent. Please don't tell anyone about this. My lips are sealed, I promise. Can I have a screwdriver, please? Here. Anyone takes the screw takes the screwdriver and hurries downstairs. I feel bad for uh reading no response. Do you know how to get in the museum? There's a padlock on the door. Oh yeah! That's from hide and seek. Hide and seek. You padlocked a door while playing hide and seek. Yeah, I wanted to make the game a little spicier, you know? I forgot how to do his voice I was doing for him earlier. Right, spicier. I mean, it worked! Yes, because you locked a player in the museum. It's called strategy, baby! Anyway, I wrote the code down on one of Elijah's old poems. Sean digs. Sorry, I'm getting tired. <sighs> Sean digs around in his pockets. Sean. Oh shoot. What is it? What's 
it's fallen out or something. It's gotta be lying around here somewhere. Or maybe I dropped it in the park when, we, when I went for a walk. Hmm, I'll take a walk around. Ah, <laughs> good one. Free. Just sit. I don't, I don't know that word. Hey, Elisha, help me look around here. Why do I always end up cleaning after your clever ideas? That's what friends are for, baby! taken. Is this you or is that tree more poorly drawn than the others? Doorway in a distance. Those are the death fairies that um, she was talking about. There's like a million papers here, so I wouldn't hide my bets. Right, I bet it's in the park. I should look around there. If you have time, that is. Of course, she has the time. It's purgatory. Hey, being polite never ain't never hurt anyone. the way to the um to the park. So I'm looking for a piece of paper in the park. I'm not seeing one. room we haven't been in yet. So it comes up poem. It says purgatory is a maze and sometimes a haze but at least here there are no Mondays. In the corner in much messier hand rising the fairies passcode Ronnie Wood? Okay. So, I think I found the piece of paper you were talking about, but it, all it said in the corner was Ronnie Wood? Oh yeah, that's it! I chose a number based on my favorite Ronnie Wood album. Really? What is it? One, two, three, four, of course. Really? I mean, man, how did I forget that? <laughs> you never failed to impress me, Sean. Why, thank you! Yo, 
to get that door open? Sean appears in the hallway. Yep, 184. Dang, finally. I can't believe I forgot that one, huh? Sean, no offense, but you'd forget your own tail if it wasn't connected to your butt. Not true. I would keep it safe in my pocket. <laughs> would you keep it in your tail coat? Sure. Remind me why the museum is locked again? Oh, cause I locked Natalie inside when we were playing hide and seek. Ah, of course. You don't think she's still in there, do you? Natalie? Nah, she's a resourceful gal. I'm sure she found another way out. Probably. It might behoove us to check out. Just might. Yes, absolutely. In case anyone was wondering, I definitely know what that word means. Sean saunters into the museum. Elijah follows. He's an apologetic shrug. How many pictures of this cat are there? <laughs> Who loves cats? Donations. It says your contributions are greatly appreciated. Museum meow manage meow meow management. <laughs> it's a cat starting out. It's hind language. My le hind hind legs. The sign says, Felis Erectus, and the ancestor of the modern human. Uh, yeah, that doesn't seem right. Just a wall yard. Oh, excuse me. Oh, well, that would be the magical string of the cat goddess bas Basset. Best tit. Really? Nah, I'm just pulling your leg. I think it's just yarn. Oh. Holy artifact. Source unknown. Discover the cat and exhibit all about our clawsome feline fur friends. The rest of the sign is basically just cat puns. Discover the cat? Oh, I've discovered it, alright. It's really hard. It's really loud. And claws up your legs. Rock climber on El Capitan? Portion of a cat. A cat with an apple in front of its head. What do you think that means? Maybe it's shy. Can't we all? Honestly, I'm glad you came and talked to us first. If you had kept on walking through the room, I probably wouldn't have stopped you. Isn't the cat supposed to be screaming or something? Ah! Ah! Mm -hmm. Painting from the poster. Pretty. Yep, yep. Johannes Furmere. Cat with pearl earring. 1665 oil on canvas. Seven tallies. Right down. Another tally. old draw okay it's one of those old draw a paw toy with a half drawn dog on it on the back it says property of natalie maybe you should hold on to this bunch of cats at war this one's kind of morbid the cats do look pretty cheerful to be in charging into battle now that you mention it Normal starry night. Leonardo da Vinci, Meow and Elisa, Oil on Polar Panel. Holy shit, that's a big cat. Cat! Staff! A mop? I wonder if that's milk. Box is full of dirt? Oh, it's cat leather. Gross. A mallet? You have a feeling you know what happened to that lock. Broken lock? Whatever is in this box smells really gross. Gross. So the box says this side right. Okay, interesting. Flat box. It's not very flattering. Clear 
the this painting was too beautiful to just display outside. Some box, some filing boxes or something. Another snow globe. Some flashcards. It's a popstick stick. Popstick stick. You reach for the door. You hear something. You hear the distant sound of something shattering. Shit. You better go see what Sean did. Uh, Sphinx. Sphinx, selectively bred to have no fur, these cats have long, narrow heads and webbed paws. Don't be fooled by its appearance. This breed is known to be energetic and affectionate. I love Sphinx cats, they're cute. The only surviving photograph of John Cat, inventor of cats! <gasps> okay. Cats come in all shapes and sizes. The rest of the sign is just scribbles? Uh oh. Sean! Okay, I know what this looks like, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean it wasn't your fault? Okay, it was sort of my fault, but I barely touched it. Why were you touching it anyway? I wanted to see if it, build fluff if it feels fluffy or not. Does it? Of course not, it's made of fucking ceramic, I had a lapse in judgment. And logic groans. Man, if we're down here to atone for our sins, we really shouldn't be going around making trouble. First the lamp, now this. Hey, it was an accident. Besides, I bet the cat was purposefully made super fragile, so any poor soul who touched it would break it. For instance, for insurance fraud or whatever. I saw it on Reddit once. Listen, man. Accidents happen to everyone, that's just how life is. But it wouldn't hurt you to be just a little more careful. That's probably no big deal. I mean, I doubt anyone cares that much about one broken statue. True, very true. Besides, being clumsy is just who I am. I used to break plates and shit around the house all the time. Eliza rubbed his head. Heh, <laughs> he must have been a handful for Danny. Hey! Leave Danny out of this. Whoa, whoa, isn't this teasing? Sean sniffs. You know it's a touchy subject. Sorry, man. I was just trying to lighten the mood. Whatever. I think I'm gonna peace out for a bit. Hey, you don't have to. I mean, Natalie's obviously not here anyway. What are we even doing here? Sean leaves, tossing up his hands. Sigh. As someone who specializes in words, you'd think I would have learned to watch what comes out of my mouth. Aw, oh, that's alright. I'll go get the broom. Rest in pieces, Maine Coon. Maine Coon, adapt for survival in winter climates. These gentle cats are known for their intelligence and playfulness. Cat fact, Maine Coons are the largest breed of domesticated cat in the world. Schroeder's cat, the first discovered cat breeder, er, er, first discovered by cat breeder Irwin Schroeder in 1935. These quantum kitties are best known for entering quantum states, for entering states of quantum superposition. Dead or alive, these mysterious cats are the perfect low maintenance buddy to not open. Thanks for lurking. Uh, I think we should open the box. There's nothing inside. Aww. Paper airplane. Scaly cat. That's a lizard. Scaly cat. Known for its long, forked tongue and tapered tail, this wacky cat has an armored scale love. Has armored scales instead of fur. You can. If you can get past its rough exterior, this breed can be a loyal and loving friend. Abstract cat. This one's just a sphere? Abstract cat. Popular among among physicists for its uniform density, this breed's natural habitat is a frictionless vacuum. Watch out. The sphere felines are playful as are as playful as they are human. Hom homogenous. <laughs> Interesting. 
Pat. Uh, right, let's go through here. I bet Natalie escaped through here. Oh hey, we can put the put the catwalk down. This isn't a door, it's just a drawing on the, of a door on the wall. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Um, escalator? Not really. It's the opposite of an escalator. A table with several... Seven circular indentations on it. Interesting. Caution. Plank or something. Yep, that's cat food. Garden gnome. You feel like this is a reference to something, but you're only half sure. Ah! It's a crowbar. I feel like I should take that. I don't know. It's not. Some sort of right there on the screen. You look at the arrival screen where your name is listed. Oh, weird. Yes, your name has been up there for over a week. But as usual, no one seemed to notice me. To be fair, I was expecting you to show up on a train. Anyway, my name is Tori. Entrepreneur, black belt, a deceased and deceased soul. If you don't mind, I have some questions for you. Tori lifts a clipboard. Uh, okay, I guess. One, who are you, and what is your purpose here? I guess tell the truth. I woke up in an office with an old lady who said I was going to purgatory, and then I went through a portal and ended up here. Hmm, that checks out. Two, what would you say is your greatest sin? Uh, I don't really remember. Really. Yeah, I woke up without any memories at all. Sorry. Hmm. I suppose people have been report have reported memory loss before. Troy flips through her clipboard. Well, that answers most of the question my questions. Ugh. One last question. What do you think that means? She points to the departure screen, which says heaven delayed. out soon. An optimist, huh? That's good. You'll need that. Regardless, I'm not interested in standing around waiting for some celestial being to have mercy on me. I'm trying to break out of here, and I think that sign means I'm close. Can I count on your help, newbie? Sure. That's the spirit. Now, if you excuse me, I've got some work to attend to. I think it's time to dig up some clues. Stay frosty, Novella. See ya. Tori briskly walks away. Cool owl person. A vending machine. An uncomfortable looking bench. Can I walk on the train tracks? The train tracks don't go anywhere. Oh, that's annoying. Unfortunately, this tunnel ends in like 10 feet. window, small containers, some cardboard boxes, they laugh me out. Okay. Some re someone really went into these pillows. Cool plant. That's the stuff that we just came from. Instead of a mattress, this bed has just has a cat bed on top of it. That's funny. Another coal to this snow globe. Stylish table. Is it a rug? Probably doesn't match her. Eh. Can I go up here? I think I just accidentally broke into her house. It's the Mona Lisa with a cat face. A moth. A 
drawing of an old lady, a UFO, a doggo! There's nothing behind this window, it's just mounted on the wall. Drawing of a galaxy, a rainbow, what a cute dog. Some candles. This desk being held up is being held up by a couple of books. Some candles. There's a lighter and some dust bunnies in the drawer. Hello? Huh? Oh, hey. How are you? I'm new here. I'm new here. I'm Natalie. Nice one. Thanks. I'll be here all eternity. But really, what's your name? It's Novella. Cool. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm guessing you don't remember the cookies thing? What cookies thing? Earlier, I rang the doorbell and you showed up and said you didn't want any cookies and left. I did? Oh my god, I must, I must have been sleepwalking. Sorry. I was just having a great dream about the cookies. Ha, <laughs> it's okay. It was funny. Still, sheesh. What a way to make a first impression. It's all good, really. So how long have you been here? Oh, it's been a while. I still have the books I checked out from all over when I arrived. They're probably overdue by years. Oh yeah, he convinced me to borrow a book too. You too? That boy never changes. I really should return these books, come to think of it. You want me to take them for you? I'm probably heading that way, heading down there anyway. Oh heck, that would be awesome, thanks. I'm glad I'm not alone to this in, in this endeavor. Ha <laughs> uh, Don't worry, I'll take the this. I'll, I'll be sure to book it to the library. I'm sure Oliver will be elated to have them back. I've heard the library is good for circulation. I don't get it. Oh. <laughs> oh, they covered that in the newspaper. Newspaper, more like newspaper. Okay, that one sucked. <laughs> can't be all, can't all be winners. Here's the books anyway. Tell Oliver I thought they were good. You weren't, weren't you using them to hold up a table? Well, maybe, but he doesn't know need to. Yeah, he doesn't need to know that. Looks like Natalie replaced the books with a box of pencils. Upstairs, a spiral staircase. Where's that freaking cat again? It won't budge. No keyhole either. Huh, interesting. Uh, I can't go anywhere else in here. Go downstairs. A stylish lamp. A nice picture of a flower. A rag. A bar of soap. What a fancy vase. Oh, another battery. Good luck. A bowl. Uh, it's just bricks behind this window. Another carpet. A stool. Looks like someone was pushing glasses off this counter. A glass dangerously close to the edge. Toaster. A sink. Yep, it it's as milk. That's gross. You can't open these because someone forgot to draw handles on them. Sofa. Carpet. Wait, what? Another. Wait, is that just. Oh, okay. Right, come on. Oh. Goes. Oh, it just goes around. Okay. Interesting. Uh, this is a confusing layout. <laughs> anyway, might as well head back to. Oh, they're gone. Do they look? Someone dug up a floor tile here. You're floored. Where do I go next? Oh. Avella, just the person I wanted to see. Oh wow. Are you trying to dig out of purgatory? What do you think I'm doing? Digging a train? But it's going but it's going further down. Really gonna help us? Eh, it's worth a shot. You know what they say, what goes down must come up. 
I don't think they say that. Nonsense! Wanna grab the shovel? Uh, Alright, I dig it. Hilarious. Here's your shovel, knock yourself out. Let me know if you dig up anything weird, alright? Sounds easy enough. Explore the park and click on hot spots to, on the ground to dig. Bonk! You found a cat themed clock. That's creepy. Gotta be kidding me. Hey, I used to play the ukulele. Did you know I directed my school's ukulele assemble? Oh, cool. You want this one? Oh, thanks. I'm afraid it'll somehow make me out noises. Yeah, probably. You found a rock. That doesn't rock. You found a mini fridge. I was starting to get hot, so it's a good thing you got a little cooler. God damn it. Puns. Uh, you found a snow globe. Cool, a snow globe. I have so many fucking snow globes. You found a cat themed chess piece. I'm going to get a little bored, or I'm starting to get a little bored. Need a break? Oh no, that was just a pun. Oh, I should have figured. You found a bone. I have a bone to pick with this place. You said it. You found a foot? Oh god, that is disturbing. I'm just gonna leave that where I found it. You mean you're going to tow it away? Wait, was that a pun? Oh god, you're rubbing off on me. You found a toy robot. Something about this doesn't feel right. You found a can of black beans. I can't believe it. Hey, I love black beans. Is it still good? Uh, let me see. Next to Best Buy, it says good luck. Huh. Okay, interesting. You found a diamond. Holy shit. What is it? I found a diamond. You think it's real? Hold it up to your mouth and breathe on it. If the fog goes away immediately, it's real. You breathe in the gem. Oh my god, it's real. Great. What are you gonna do with it? Uh, huh. Good point. Give it to Kyung Soon. Maybe she'll eat it. <laughs> okay. We don't have. Where's that from the ceiling? Oh, that's the holes we've dug. 11 out of 16. You found nothing. Boo. in the ground? I don't know. Just chilling. King soon. Do you want to help us dig? Well, no thanks. I'm just gonna go back to the comments. Okay, take care. <laughs> but what I wish she buried? You found a shovel! This feels weird for some reason. You found a worm! You, what do you think that worm did to end up in purgatory? Hmm. Digging under the influence? I'm sorry I asked. Oh my god. Uh, I'm missing one more hole. Hmm. Going. Not great, but I haven't given up. I'm not afraid to get my hands a little dirty if it means escaping. Or a lot dirty, actually. Some gloves wouldn't hurt. I'm not sure where the last deal is. The last one. I 
don't know where to go. There it is. You found a coin. Bird coins? That doesn't even make sense. Tori! What the hell are you doing? Oh, just trying to save us all. You're welcome. You're ruining the park. Eh, debatable. Did you miss the part about saving us all? Oh my god. How many holes did you dig? Don't worry, more than 20. No more than 20. 20? I'm so sorry. I didn't think about the damage we're doing. Of course you didn't. I'm gonna close your eyes. Okay, okay, deep breaths, Nima. Listen, I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you somehow. Leave Novella out of it at least, it was my idea. Fine, we'll talk about this later. Nima jumps away. Sheesh. My bad, Novella. This plan was a bust anyway. I guess it wasn't a very wholesome plan. I can say that again. But don't worry. I have a feeling my next plan will be electric. See you now, okay? Okay. Stay sharp. I wonder if I can, you know, undig the holes, or rather fill them in, I guess. Bush. Find and return Natalie's draw paw. Yeah, I forgot about the extra sketch. Mm, which way do I go? <laughs> I always forget the way back. Um, but I'm looking for the library. Hello. Standing still. Hi, good Novella. What's up? I've been thinking about getting back into chess. With infinite time to study, I could really hone my openings. Oh, heck yeah. these books. Hey, Natalie asked me to return these books for you. Huh? Oh! Well, thank you very much. I'll check these out right away. You're welcome. Goodness, I almost forgot about these. Do you think she enjoyed them? Um... I think she likes them. Oh, good, good. She must have really been taking her time with them, huh? Huh, yeah. You know, there's a surprising amount of nuance when you read between the lines. Oliver, uh, Oliver rifles through one of Natalie's books and a piece of paper falls out. Whoops, is this yours? Uh, no, but maybe it's Natalie's. Ah, I'll trust it to you. I'll trust you. I'll trust you to hold on to it then. Probably just a bookmark or something. Anyway, I'd rather th get these back on the shelves for future patrons. Until next time, see ya. Like, King Soon and everyone else who's down here. Well, all things considered, we could have been stuck with worse company. Is there someone in particular you had in mind? What do you think about... King Soon? Well, King Soon is certainly very, um, morose. Is that a good thing? Well, no, not particularly. Not typically. I think it means... I think I just mean she's languorous. I don't know that one either. Lunatic and and <laughs> these words are hard. Enervated. You've got to be making these up. Ah, 
only had my thesaurus with me. What do you think about Numa? Oh, she's very sweet. A bit of a recluse, however, hardly talks to anyone. Have you tried to talk with her? Oh yes, yeah, several times in fact. She's she's quite a good she's quite good with numbers, so I thought I would run some of my I would run some of my statistics faster. Oh, good idea. Yes, I thought that too, but it was just an awkward experience for both of us. I decided it's probably to leave her. It's probably best to leave her alone. I see. But Elijah. Oh, he's very nice. And talented writer at that. I see, I see. Are you two friends? Well, I suppose so. He tends to stay shut up in his study most of the time. A habit that we may uh, have in common. You can see it's not exactly conductive to form. Okay. You can see how that is not exactly conductive to forming friendships. It lol, that makes sense. Oh, he's certainly very old. He made quite a first impression on me when he first arrived. Oh yeah? Uh, yes, he made some very, let's say, forward advances. Oh, I see. I guess you don't swing that way, huh? No, it's not that. I uh, swing both ways, to so to speak. Just not into snakes? No, 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 he's putting words in my mouth. I'll admit that he's, um, quite handsome. It's just that I wasn't- I mean, I'm not looking for someone at this point in my life. Or death, that is. But maybe under circum- maybe if the circumstances were different, then I'm just focusing on my research right now is all. Oh. Alright. Uh, ah, she's a good friend of mine. She has a sharp mind, that one. We often consult each other on our respective endeavors. Huh, what exact- uh, what endeavors actually? Well, she's always busy with one thing or another. I think last I checked, she was trying to create a renewable energy source via wind turbines. Really? What for? Does Purgatory even have wind? Well, I was a bit conserved- uh, cons confused by that too. But I'm sure she has her reasons. Natalie? Oh, I haven't had a chance to see her for a while. Her, usually, her usual hideaway is a bit of a trek from the library. She's quite the artist, I hear. Yeah, I've seen some of her stuff. It's pretty good. She's pretty good. Indeed. Uh, okay, never mind. It just loops around. Da -da -da -da, skip through that. your work going? It's going well, thanks for asking. Is this what you did in real life? Work in a library? Oh, once or twice as part-time work. I was I was primarily a doctorate student when I died. Oh, cool. What were you researching? Well, um, nothing interesting, I'm afraid. Ah, I'm sure that's not true. Well, it was pure mathematics. Usually doesn't pique the intrigue. Doesn't Mm -hmm. Usually doesn't pique most people's interests. Number theory to be specific. That word always gets me. Or dio fun. Okay. Dio fantine approximation to be even more specific. Which, by the way, the use of rational. Which is, by the way, the use of rational numbers to approximate real numbers. It's a concept that's closely linked to transcendental numbers, in fact, and was used to prove the transcendental transcendentality of pi in nineteen in eighteen eighty two by we saw short. <laughs> I mean, there's really not much to say about it. Uh -huh. Ah, uh, it sounds interesting. Tell me more. Oliver coughs and looks at his feast. 
Really, I insist. There's nothing more to be said. I died before I could complete my work anyway. So, for all intents and purposes, all those years of worse research were wasted. Aw, but I want to know more about transcendental numbers. Well, usually I just remember. Actually, I just remembered I have some very important work to attend to, if you'll excuse me. Oh, okay, see ya. Oliver shuffles away. Darn. I want to ask him more questions. Oh, but, to be honest, his voice was uh, making my throat hurt, so I'm glad that we're not talking to him anymore. Okay. Uh, I think most of what we need to do has to do with Natalie. So let's figure out how to get back to her place. Um, I think it was past the garden. Nope, oh, wrong way. Up here, and yep. And then through this place. And then up here. Hello, Natalie. Hey, what's up? What's up? I just had a dream that Purgatory was full of snakes and was called Snurgatory. I don't even know what to say about that. About the books. I gave Oliver the books. Sweet, thank you. Hell you one. He didn't give me a late fee, did he? No, but he looked sad. Huh. Poor guy just wants people to read his books. I would if it wasn't just meows. Yeah, me too. Well, I haven't read a book for fun since middle school, so maybe I wouldn't. But I would look at the pictures! <laughs> Lol, yeah. This is... Is this bookmark yours? Bookmark yours, by the way? Huh? E nah, never seen that before. Interesting. Maybe you should take a closer look at that bookmark. Okay. Uh, it's one of those old draw paws. Click to rotate the knobs or use... Q-O-Q-O-Q-O-Q-O-Q-O-Q-O-Q-O-Q-O-Q-O-Q-O-Q-O-Q-O-Q-O-Q-O-Q-O-Q-O-Q-O-Q-O-Q-O-Q-O-
tripod. Hey, is this yours? No way! You found my tripod! Thanks so much, dude. You're a real pal. You're welcome. If I can ever return the flavor, just let me know. At least I can do is lend a paw. Eh, thanks. I'll let you know for sure. That was the drawing. It's going great. I haven't drawn anything in like ages. I'm drawing a little robot dude, not dude right now. Cool. Can I see? Uh, I'll show you when I'm done. It's not really anything. It's not really anything worth looking at right now. Oh, okay. So yeah, check back later or something. Okay. Mm, that's about life. I liked it. Eight out of ten. What did you do for a living? Janitor. Denver Museum of Natural Science. Oh, how was that? Well, I worked overnight and didn't so didn't didn't, ha didn't have to work to end it. Ugh, God. Okay. I'm stumbling over wor my words. Didn't have to talk to anyone. And I got into plantarians. I got into planetarium shows for free, so I can't complain. Though that didn't stop my mom from nagging me to get a real job. Oof, that sucks. Eh, what can you do? Any other questions? Sure, how about... Anything you miss? Hmm, like out of everything? Tamales. Oh yeah, tamales are good. So good. I used to eat them every time we went to... Mexico to visit family. They were so delicious. Wow, lucky. It's the little things in life. Mm. I'll let her draw for now. Uh, or, I guess. Uh, we can ask another thing. Any regrets? Just one, dude. Not finishing my webcomic when I was alive. Oh, you had a webcomic? Yeah, it wasn't even halfway through. But oh well. It's not like I could have known when I would die. Dang, I'm sorry. What was it about? Oh, it was about this... About It was about, like, a moth that fights nightmares in the dreaming world. It's pretty awesome. That sounds like a dream come true. You heckin' know it. Time I fit 12 marshmallows in my face at once. Next question. Holy crap. Uh, how did you fit 12 marshmallows in your mouth? Years of grueling tra training. I also have a huge mouth. <laughs> well, honestly, um, we finished our to-do list for now. It is right at 10, which is when I usually end my streams. And also, my throat is starting to hurt from doing the voices. So, I think uh, we're gonna have to save that for now. Oh, you got all the little characters up there. It's so cute. I love it. Save. Game saved. <sighs> and, all right. Oh, beautiful. Oh, thank you. I didn't see when, when you sent that. Anyway, uh, let me end the game so the music stops. Alright, well, uh, I hope you all enjoyed that playthrough of Purgatory. Uh, maybe. Monday we'll get back to it maybe um either that or potion craft probably um yeah thanks for tuning in everybody Bandu and delta for commenting anybody else who lurked over the over uh, the stream thanks for coming in and uh yeah i will see you monday because i'm gonna get back to it and have a good night you have a good night too delta Anyway, uh, farewell. Bye. Oh, can I raid? Good! Thank you for reminding me. I forgot to do that last time I streamed. Okay, um, I'm gonna be real. I don't know how to raid. Let me see if I can figure that out.
But thank you for mentioning that before I hit the end stream button. I would feel bad if I forgot again. I wish Chrome would open so I can actually look at Twitch. Uh, maybe we should do. One of the only reasons to live in LA is food. Let's be real. If I'm craving something like